march. She reached out to us to tell us she wanted to stand with this community and bring attention to this evil DeSoro merger. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one, the only, Jane Fonda! with you in Wilmington, in your hood, at the center of climate change. This is the eye of the storm. This is where to be. You should be proud of yourselves. All of the millions of resistors across this country should be proud of themselves. Because we have not been silenced. The administration thought we'd be scared off, or numb, or complacent. And they thought we wouldn't put up a fight, but they were wrong. We have risen up and become the resistance. Each good thing that has happened since the election happened because millions of Americans have marched and filled the town halls of the politicians and filled the elected officials' offices with calls and texts. These, these communities near to Soro Refinery are what the extractors call sacrifice zones. are causing benzene and other toxins in the air and water threaten people and their lives. I know you know this, I'm saying it out loud though because there's press here and I want to be sure that people that see the media of this event understand what you are facing here. And as you know, they're planning to expand the Tesoro refinery. What do they care? Right? What do they care? You're just working people. You're just people of color. <clears throat> of color. You're just poor people, expendable. This is about environmental justice and racism. And it's not happening because we need the oil. We do not need it. It. The people in Wilmington and surrounding communities woo, cannot live with the risks and damage it brings. Not just here, but all down the coast, from Vancouver to LA Harbor. This is not happening because of need, it is happening because of greed. on the part of the petrol oligarchy who want even more, even in the face of scientific proof that it will lead to disaster. Instead, instead, we must make a managed and compassionate transition to a low carbon economy that pr protects oil, gas, and coal workers and their families and communities. We must fight to end the huge subsidies the government gives to the fossil fuel industry. Isn't it interesting how those guys hate giving welfare to you all, and yet they take so much of it themselves that we pay for it. And we must use that money instead to invest in, <coughs> in renewable energy, housing, transportation, health care, social assistance, education. <coughs> the very low carbon sectors that knit our society together rather than environmental catastrophe. And listen to this, these industries 
the renewable, low-carbon industries create dozens or hundreds more jobs than the extractive industries. Other countries are moving to a carbon neutral economy, but many of our politicians don't want us to know this. They and Fox News tell us that clean energy isn't ready. They lie. And we have to know the real facts and share them. If we stand up to them and fight as if our lives depend on it, which they do, we may be able to avoid the worst of the climate catastrophe. <coughs> I'm sorry, it's plastic. Me too. We shouldn't buy plastic, but we need to protect our water. <laughs> we can't march today or just next month. We must see this as an ongoing fight. This is a revolution. Because we understand that for the first time in human history, we face an existential threat to our planet and to our democracy. If they win, we move closer to the tipping point and there'll be no going back. This has never happened before. Let it never be said that we sat by while a group of mostly white male billionaires tried to deny the American people a viable future. It's up to us. Si se puede.